Welcome to the second part of this practical tutorial in which we are going to see how we can implement a tunneling protocol into a real SDR that in this case is the USRP N210. My name is Javier Acevedo and this is the chapter 26 of the Computing in Communication Networks book. So, first of all, let's going to start with a small introduction to tunneling protocols. What does it mean and how we can really implement this into our USRPs, M210. A tunneling protocol is the movement of data from one network to another. As we can see in this picture, in this illustration, for instance, we have an application. So we want to do ping between two containers uh, using our USRPs. Uh, in order to do this, basically what we need to do is to build a tap interface between those containers in the kernel for tunneling Ethernet frames that uses the operating system network protocol stack. This tab is associated with uh, with a virtual interface that is used to test the IP connectivity. So in this case, what we are going to do is to create this interface this virtual network interface between the application layer and the Mac and physical layer that is going to allow us to use the USRP board using a via Ethernet. What it basically does here is to set up the virtual Ethernet interface and relay packets between that interface and the gaming radio. So now let's going to have a small or quick view about how we can implement this using our Comnets MO. As we have seen before, this integrating software defined radios directory is composed by three different files and the examples directory. In this case, what we are going to do is to make sure that our Comnets MO is going to be able to forward traffic to the USRPs. So, what we are going to do is to execute that command in order to enable the traffic forwarding, as we can see here. Now that this forwarding is granted, so what we are going to do is to access to the example directory and inside the example directory we are going to find our tunnel application. So in this case we are going to find here is a docker file and in this docker compose file if we can take a look to this file what we are going to have is two containers one for the SDR1 and the other for the SDR2. What basically we do in each of the containers is to uh, set up this virtual Ethernet interface by executing this file called tunnel.py. We establish what is the tr receiver and the transmitter frequency that in this case varies because we want to avoid collisions during the transmission and as you can see right here at the end of this command we wait until this configuration is done uh, 30 seconds and then we assign the virtual address that in this case is set as gr0 into this uh, address for the uh, SDR1 or the USRP1 and 
in the same case we do we do a key, something equivalent with the other address for the SDR2 in this case the virtual address is represented by a 2 here so let's go back to our example our terminal sorry and let's go to execute the docker compose file using the docker compose app command what we can see here is that this execution is taking place and now in this tunnel what we can do is to see that the containers are there uh, let's go to access to the second tunnel and let's go to make a pin to the first the first um, to the to that address let's go to stop this and as we can see here the tunnel was established and what it does basically a pink is to measure the round the round uh, trip time that in this case for this default values of 50, 56 bytes is 4.35 milliseconds so now when we return to our presentation what we have done is to establish what is the relationship between the packet size and the number of uh, packet samples that, that we have in our that we can establish in our terminal if we return to the book itself basically what we can do is to assign two parameters the s for this packet size that by default is 56 bytes and in the other case what we can also do is to set the interval between sending each packet that for instance you, you can configure this to be for instance um, uh, 2000 bytes and then you configure this uh, the address where you want to do these things for instance if you are in the SDR2 as we can just see before you configure this virtual address or you do a ping to the virtual address one and if you are the SRP2 you configure the ping to the um, virtual address one itself so with this we conclude our practical tutorial I thank you a lot for your attention and uh, as we have seen we have done the implementation of two practical examples the tunneling and also the trend receiver using the OFDN modulation and hope to see you next time in a new version of this book or with another practical example using USRPs thanks a lot